Welcome to another Slimestone video, and this time we're gonna take a look at target blocks and how you can use them in slime machines. So, how are they incorporated in slime machines? And you use tridents. So, as you can see, when this person retracts, the trident will activate and activate the target block for one second. And there are also situations, so all of these, the piston will activate the trident. See? This. And this. And you can put it diagonally too. And you just have to throw it on the edge, so for example here. You have to throw it right. Like this. And you can also move them, and the trident will not fall. Unless it is like this, here in this situation it will fall. May not be in the first time, but it will always end up falling. Yeah. Anyway, I made a slow fire machine. And as you can see, it is really compact and only uses two pieces, two pieces of slime. So if I activate this observer, as you can see, it will just go like this and be really slow. So it can be, it can be really useful, especially that it is really small, like it doesn't take much space at all. And there is also a pushing circuit, which is only one wide, as you can see, I'm also going to stop that. Then here is a two-way fire machine that uses target blocks and patterns, as you can see, we'll just go like this, and one more, and it can also go the other way. So. Here, we'll just go all the time. Okay, and here is also the self returning version. So when I activate this, we'll just go like that. Self-return. See, and it self-returns on both ways. Like that. Right. Unfortunately, I think now is the time to tell you that there's a big issue with um, target blocks and tridents in Simestone. Which is that they don't go well with chunk borders. So when going east or north, a piston retracting won't actually activate the trident in the target box. When in the other direction, it's just fine. So this make the this engine basically useless because it can go over 16 blocks. I'll link a bug report in the description. Please avoid it. It, it really almost kills um, yeah, Tristone. I also made a observerless engine using target blocks and which is actually smaller than the most frequent design, which is this one. This only uses 10 blocks, when this uses 11 blocks. So yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. One thing target blocks are useful for are programmable fire machines. So here is a programmable speed fire machine, which only uses um, 8 blocks. 
And so if you don't know what a programmable time machine is, is basically you put items in a container and it will fly for that distance. Oh, this should be a regular piston, sorry. See, it will just fly and stop whenever this dispenser is empty. And here is also a two-way version. See? Um, there was a chunk border here, so it kind of broke. So if I put more projectiles here, arrows, it will go the other way. Also, the target block is and it activates for one second when activated by a trident or a an arrow, but with a snowball it will actually be shorter. So you can use um, these delay timings um, to your advantage. Right here is the self return version. So when this is out of arrows, the fire machine will just self-return. Wait a bit. As you can see, it just self-returned and then it will fly to the infant. Like this. Another thing fly tire blocks can be used for is start stop fly machines. If I put, take a projectile like a snowball and just activate this and that to fly and if I activate this again to stop and start flying again and stop so it can be quite useful ah, there we go and one last use of target blocks I want to demonstrate is adding delay so, for example, here I made a one slime flyer, so it only uses one piece of slime. And start it. As you can see, here is how it works. And it's made possible with target box at least at this size. I also made a movable double and triple piston extenders. As you can see. I'll do the double piston extension every time this observer is activated. And also the triple. So when I activate this. Oh, I placed that observer wrong, of course. As you can see, it will just retract it. Here has a chunk border, so it just broke. But if I activate that, it will work just fine. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.